Hello and welcome back to Man Cave Hobby. So today's video is just like its title, just like the thumbnail. I put new switches in this radio. This is a quick, easy modification to do this radio and it makes a world of difference for guys that have bigger hands. When I did the review on this, I didn't really give this radio a very glowy review because of two reasons. Number one, they advertised it that it was going to be, you're going to be able to use this with Crossfire, flat out. And then right before shipping it, it's like, well, you can, but, right? But it's severely limited. And then you have to modify the radio in order to fix it or work around it. And then the other reason why is it just didn't fit my hands, especially my fingers up here because of the big paddle switches. And so when I, when I was using it, it just felt like I, I really didn't have a good grip on the radio. But now I do. So this is a quick and easy modification. We're talking 10 bucks plus shipping. That's what it cost me. And I found this place called I Love Switches. They have a ton of these things in stock. The switches work with the, the stock dress nuts. So you can use the stock dress nuts back on the radio. Um, it's a great modification and I'll show you that on the bench. When you do take the, the back cover off, just take a picture of it with your cell phone so that when you try to put everything back together, you have a reference on your cell phone how to do that, okay? Um, I want to talk about this coming up on the channel. This is going to be coming up on the channel. I learned a lot about iNav, and I want to share that with you. Billy D60, you rock, man. I mean, this thing is really good, and I think it's going to be great with my for my wife as our first quadcopter. It flies really nice. No, it's not a barn burner. Um, it's a cine, a cine whoop, right? So, but with the GPS on here, and it's just wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about this coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. And then another thing I want to talk about is the SharkBite system. So a guy released a video uh, on the SharkBite system. And what he did is he took the stock run cam, printed off a new case, and then put an M12 glass lens on it. And wow. I mean, just absolutely. We're talking like Nebula Pro type quality here on the SharkBite system. I'll put the link down below. You tell me. But I mean, view this video on your cell phone at 1440p and just imagine what it would look like in the HDO2 goggles with the OLED displays. I mean, holy shit, right? And, and, and not only that, you have to think that SharkBite doesn't have the best quality DVR and there's also a little bit of YouTube compression in there, just a little bit. He uploaded it correctly, but I'm just saying there's just still a little bit. But if you watch this back on your cell phone at 1440p, I can't even imagine what it would look like in the goggles. You know, this has been on RC groups, like I said, for about four months. And it was it was Alf. Alf came up with the idea. And I just thought it would be a waste of time because I thought there would be a full-size run cam by now. And there isn't. So now I'm going to do this mod. I have to do this. Watch the video. I mean, it's just amazing. And it clearly shows that you know, just like the DJI system, you know, that when the when Caddx came up with their own cameras for the DJI system, they look like shit, right? And everybody was just buying the DJI camera until the Nebula Pro came out, which is basically DJI's camera, okay? Um, same sensor in it anyway, and the same lens. So it's the same kind of thing, the same kind of concept here with the Shark Bite. We now clearly can prove that with a good camera, the Shark Bite rocks. With a shitty camera, it looks like clouded up crap. I mean, last week's video, I, I changed out the lens in, in my run cam, and it made a hell of a difference. It really honestly did. It made a good difference there. So just check out the video on your cell phone, 1440p. You tell me in the, in the comments down below. Let's get down to the bench. Let's, uh, let's do this modification. Okay, so here are the switches. Um, these are real simple switches. They just have a 6 millimeter barrel on them, and... This is just a simple on and off with the middle being a common. So the yellow is the common wire. In this middle position, nothing. Nothing's happening. If you switch it over to this position, then the, the black and the yellow are connected. And you switch it to this position, the yellow and the red are connected. In the middle, once again, nothing. So the new switch, as you can see, is much smaller on the toggle. And I can just I just have to cut these things down because you can see... The other ones are kind of short, so you just want to cut them to the same size. And you can just use wire dikes for that. Um, 
but it's the same thing. And you can see with the six millimeter barrel, the dress nuts for the radio, the stock dress nuts work. So same thing, nothing fancy there. Now these here, these are your lower switches. This is just a simple on and off. It does have three prongs, which is kind of strange, but it doesn't matter. It just basically in this position here, nothing's connected. And in this position here, these two are connected. That's, that's it. And then this is the new one. I just have to cut the prongs down once again. And that's it. I mean, real simple stuff. So I'll put this in the radio and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we're back here with the modification and it is done. I love switches. This is a really inexpensive, easy to do modification, guys. We're talking less than 10 bucks probably. I think each switch was only like a dollar or something a piece. I don't know. The links down below are non-affiliated. Of course, I don't do that on this channel. Um, you know, I just found the guy. He's got great communication, great shipping. But check this out. Look how much room I have now for my fingers. Where before, when I reviewed this radio, I said I cannot recommend this radio because, especially if you have bigger hands, because I could barely get my fingers right here. And because it has such a flat reveal here as opposed to the Xbox controller, it was in, in the X light too by FR Sky. It was really tough to hang on to this radio, and there was just no room up here. But now there's plenty of room up here. It feels solidly planted in my hands. I love this. And what I like about this toggle, I mean, even with this up, this down, you can still see. Sorry, my hands are red too, guys. Um, I did some staining today. So I mean, even with this all the way up and down, you can. It just wants to slide over the top of this toggle because it's a little on the stiff side. So you're not going to accidentally turn off your quadcopter in mid-flight, unlike the stock switches. And this one here is a little lighter. So even when you're, even though it's a shorter toggle, you can still have the dexterity to use all three modes. So, you know, 10 bucks, I'm guessing around 10 bucks, if not less, and a half hour, not a bad little modification at all. Not bad at all. I love it. You know, with this reveal, I might get my friend Billy D60 on RC Groups. This guy's a structural engineer. He's brilliant. But I might want to, you know, get him to put something right here. Make something so it's right here. Maybe send him this radio or something and a check. But because, I mean, look at the kind of quality that he does. Look at this thing. When I first got this, he gave me this quadcopter for my wife. This will be her first quadcopter. And it'll run on Shark Bite, of course. Um... And I said, well, you know, I want to put a GPS unit back here. And I, you know, I, I just need somebody to make a mount because the guy that I had in town here, he passed away, unfortunately, and I didn't have anyone else. So Billy D60 came in. He said, hey, you know, I'll make you one. Said, oh, okay. And look at this. When I first got this, I like, I was sitting here Rubik's cubing this for about a half an hour. I could not believe the quality of the print. I just can't believe what he came up with here. And even for the wiring, you know, just, just in case I want to use any one of these ports. Put nice ports right in here. I mean, just just such a beautiful job. And then, you, you know, you can see the little nubbins in here. That's to hold the GPS unit, and it holds it solid. Trust me, I had to take this GPS unit out to put the wire on. It was tough. It was. It's not going anywhere. So you put these little nubs right here. He printed that into the print. It's, oh, it's beautiful. And you put this little... Um, shelf right here for a plexiglass window so i can protect this just in case she tips over or something just an absolute gorgeous job i don't know maybe i'll send them this radio and send them a check and say hey you know make something right here you know just so it fits in the hand better so it fits like an X xbox controller just a little bit that's all it needs just a little bit there so i don't know anyway that's my video hope you i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up please subscribe next week i'll probably talk about this i do have something else and i can't even remember i got some stuff coming and i don't i don't know i lost track of all the stuff that's supposed to be coming i, I have no idea i think it's the fox ear camera yeah i think so and also too i have the retail v2 camera coming or the lens coming that's right for the shark bite system i was gonna i was gonna do that so that might come next i might do that this weekend so please join me have a great evening